guys, Ryder here. Um, one of my packages actually uh, just arrived today, and this is it the HDMI 2.0 video capture. <laughs> uh, basically, there was a sale that's going on in one of our uh, online shops, and um, this originally the amount of this is about $20 plus shipping, but due to the series of deals that they have right now. I was actually able to buy this for about ten dollars. <laughs> yeah, ten dollars for this capture card that boasts about ten eighty p output. Yeah, that's the maximum that I have seen on the um, uh, informations on the website. So I'm going to unbox this and review this, and also make a comparison with this capture card that if you might have seen the channel before. This is the original capture card that I bought for about seven dollars. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see which one of them is better. And I'm again, I'm kind of wary because this is a 2.0 HDMI, uh, sorry, USB connector, just like this one. It's a USB 2.0. Okay, so let's rip this box open. And um, basically, here's what happened. When I received this, it's the the box was actually damaged. See some crease here. Not sure if it's visible in the video, but yeah, there it is. So let me just open this one up. Oh, it's really lightweight because this is the only, this is the only um, item in a box. So this is it. HDMI video capture doesn't say who the manufacturer is. No. Uh, Size in the back, just made in China. Again, still USB 2.0, just like this one. So I'm going to compare this to HDMI's um, capture cards, and uh, there's also a manual, a manual guide that they have. Yeah, they have manual here that shows even the um, how you'll be able to use it with OBS. So. <laughs> I don't know. I've been seeing a lot of good reviews with this capture card recently, so might as well put in ten dollars. It's free shipping, by the way, and I got it for like about four days, I think. So yeah, let's jump cut to the video where I test this and compare the two of them again, side by side. Okay, so basically this is how my old capture card works. The the one for seven dollars. So as you can see, the latency is not that noticeable here. In fact, if I put um, put some, you know, oh, oh sorry, pushed some buttons. What am I saying? Um, it's actually going to respond better. So um, let's calibrate. No, not this one. Look at this. Um, I'm going to um, put in the mic closer to my controller so yeah it's not noticeable right so each time that I press it the um, the lag is not that noticeable see um, that's what I want on this and um, basically the only downside of this capture card is the quality of the video. In fact, um, the settings right now, it's actually on the old, uh, sorry, the new one. But this is how the old one works. Uh, the blondest that I'll see here will be for Assassin's Creed. Uh, this is, I think, this is the game that I can um, show how bad this quality is. <laughs> And also, I'll try to jump to Fire Emblem as well, because that that is also a very bad uh, game to play on this. As you can see, the texts are barely readable, unless it's like this. It's like a huge text. So Ubisoft, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the quality of this game, man. Again, that was for the $7 capture card. And, um... It's really bad. I mean, you can't you can barely read it, and also it's only for like 25 frames per second, 
which is the terrible downside of this. I mean, I can live with the um, this quality. In fact, I've been streaming on Twitch using this capture card because, look, uh, the latency is not that um, noticeable. In fact, if you push some buttons, it's actually great. See? I'm again, like I um, showed earlier, I'm pressing the buttons here and um, you don't see any latency showing up that much. It's just that it's a terrible experience overall using this capture card when it comes to like the video quality itself. It's playable uh, for, my, uh, for my case. It is really playable. And uh, I'm definitely wanting to use this capture card for like streams and stuff. Especially if I'm wanting to play like more action oriented streams. Now let's jump onto the other capture card. Okay, well this is the new capture card. You'll notice right away that the quality of the video is so damn good. Um, in fact, actually, I have not used this to this full potential because the quality that I have selected for the settings is just the 480p. I mean, I can go ahead and max it to 1080. It's not really that noticeable, to be honest. And um, there's going to be like a bit of a lag, just like the uh, other one. But look at this. Um, from my experience, I do see some buffering um, and latency. Again, this is because I'm using just the output of the laptop in making this. So if you happen to have like an HDMI splitter and another monitor that you have, you're actually able to uh, see the results and it's really, really good. Now, at least you can read it, <laughs> unlike the other one before. And uh, this is going to be good. Now, the only gripe that I have, especially in my setup right now, is that I can't play games that has like, you know, um, more precise actions. Jo just look at this quality, man. Can you believe it? It's $10 and look at the quality that I'm getting. <laughs> You'll especially um, um, like this uh, for games like Fire Emblem, wherein the subtitles are kind of unreadable, even in the handheld um, version or handheld mode. And um, if you factor in that previous capture card that I have, oh man, it's bad. So here is where the um, capture card struggles. Maybe it is also because of my um, uh, setup. So it went. Um, it really is making my uh, laptop run terribly. And um, there's like input lag that you can see. See, look at this. And. Um, what else? Yeah, I think I should do the same test that I had before. Sorry for being out of place when it comes to this. It's not really noticeable, but it kind of is, especially during game. So I think I have to drop down the quality of this down to like 480. Again, it's not really that noticeable because it's already good to begin with. So yeah, that will just be um, for the same 480p, 640, 640 by 80, 480. I think that will make the quality of it better, but you can still see the buffering. But this is kind of better. I mean, look, I can actually play this one now, though there will be occasional slowdowns um, on the game itself. But this is playable. I mean, look at this. This is like the first time that I even played uh, Assassin's Creed in this kind of quality for a bigger monitor. <laughs> because I only play in handle mode, I don't have a TV. But we shall be getting soon as soon as I get the PS5. But just look at this. Man, my streams are gonna be better now on Twitch. Yeah, follow me on Twitch. Come on. What are we waiting for? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I think I solved the um, the issue that I have. Um, basically, when I bought this, I opened it 
beforehand before making that video of this and um, I noticed back then that there was like buffering and stuff and I think I was able to solve it in a way because of my uh, new settings that I have so it's better and it's playable man now I, I think I can even play games like I don't know Mario Kart soon which I think I will be but anyway this is going to be um, for the Assassin's Creed part now let's jump to other games on this new one Icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Vodland, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout looks to one day grow into a great tree. Forced back into the Knights of Seros. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. You heard? Well, the academy just happens to be short of professors. And apparently that damned Aloise went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. You were a bit surprised that I recommended you as a professor here. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I
The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the burning fields once again spring to life at Dark Frozen, heralding the start of winter. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. Forced back into the night, I suppose. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. You heard... Well, the academy just happens to be short of professors. And apparently that damned Aloise went and recommended you to Ed and Ray. Force back... And You were a bit surprised that I recommended you as a professor here. What you could also notice is that um, alongside this um, new capture card, there's also like a bit of a delay when it comes to the audio, which I can also fix to be honest. I have like an aux cable, so I can use that for capturing the audio as well. That's only one of the downsides of that. There you have it. Um, I can say for sure this capture card. It really was like a a very very shocking capture card for me to see. Ten dollars, good quality. Again, 1080p. Um, yes, I have tried to see this, and um, during the recordings that I have, there was a delay, like at least a second. Well, that's because I used the uh, the OBS as my uh, reference for the output. I don't have any monitors to use, so that latency of about a second can be fixed by using an HDMI splitter and also a different monitor. So yeah, leave your comments below if you bought this. <laughs> Again, this this is better than my original capture card, which this is terrible. Man, seven dollars for this last year, and I'm glad they came up with this one. Very cheap. Again, you can see this on Amazon and maybe some other um, online websites that you go to. Definitely don't sleep on this because again, not only can this be a capture card, but this is also like an alternative for, you know, 
using cameras like Camlink, the uh, Elgato Camlink. And for the price, $10 for me. I'm not sure about the prices that you have. Um, mostly the original price of this is about $20. Yeah, but you have to find some deals on it. That's the reason as to why I was able to get it so cheap. Yeah, definitely recommend this. And um, yeah, if you might be seeing me stream on Twitch, yeah, follow me on Twitch. I will be streaming more. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.